Hello, this is George Bemis again. And I'm here because I am in desperate search of that individual who sent me into a spiritual conundrum. And I mean a real spiritual conundrum. Well, let me get back to what happened. You see, I got me another cell phone. And it's cheaper to buy cell phones online than going down to the store. So I did. I got it in the mail yesterday. Beautiful cell phone. And I couldn't quite understand all the instructions. So I called up the cell phone company and said, Can you help me switch phones over? They said, No problem. They were tickled pink to help me. So, first thing he said to do, was take the SIM card out of my old cell phone and put it in my new cell phone. SIM card? I don't want to sin. I don't want to have a card that permits me to sin. So what did I do? I hung up the phone. I said, crying. I went down to the Catholic Church, talked to the priest. He said, do a couple Hail Marys and you'll be okay. I did didn't help me. I don't want to sin. I didn't know I had a sin card. It allowed me to sin in my cell phone. So what did I do? I went down to the synagogue, talked to the Jewish rabbi. I know if anybody know, he's a good guy. So he helped me out. He said, that'd be all right. It's just a misunderstanding. You'll be okay. Yeah, it didn't make me feel any better. So I decided to go down to the Pentecostal church. You know what that preacher wanted me to do? He wanted me to get in and kneel at the altar because he was going to cast a demon out of me for having a sin card. I ran out of there real quick. So here I am looking for that individual that says I have a sin card in my phone because I don't want a sin card. I want to get it out of my phone so I can use my new phone without sinning. And if you can find that guy for me, let me know.